after 22 years in the World Bank, I s made this program so it responds to questions that come up from countries. So students are taught uh, practical problems that they were going to have to answer or they're going to have to respond to or they're going to have to contribute to. Hence, it makes them very flexible in the labor market. We don't concentrate on a single region. We cover the world. And the faculty, myself included, have worked in every, every part of the world. So it doesn't matter whether you're interested in Japan or Bangladesh or Sweden. We can t help you learn about those places. We cover both higher education as well as primary and secondary education. So we have no single uh, focus. So by the time you get into the labor market, you are fully equipped to respond to needs across the entire education uh, spectrum. And it's very effective. So it's personal, it's professional, and it's effective. I think it is fair to say, I mean, if going back to this, you know, um, professional model that we've created. And um, some programs uh, are semi-ideological. We want to teach you know, students about why it's bad you know, in post-industrial modernism, and et cetera. That's not our job. Our job is to be able to respond uh, to questions from ministers of education uh, with real problems. So we're very you know, practical in that. On the other hand, we don't ignore the debates. We pay a lot of attention uh, to issues of education. We, we spend a lot of, lot of time talking about education and corruption. We spend a great deal of time talking about plagiarism uh, and about the, you know, the, uh, and there are a lot of different opinions about that, and cultural opinions as well as experiences. We spend a lot of time talking about the degree to which schools can um, uh, inhibit social cohesion as well as assist social cohesion. So it's, you know, we, um, we're very, we're not only we teach them about management issues and economics and finance, uh, but we uh, hone in on some of the more controversial issues surrounding education and development. There's no lab work. Uh, there are, uh, we, we uh, work in small groups a lot. Uh, we have debates a lot. Uh, every single issue that we teach, uh, even issues that you might think were a very, uh, had a simple answer like, you know, should girls go to school in Bangladesh? The obvious answer is yes. Uh, but we teach our students to uh, make certain that they know all the costs and all of the problems uh, of implementing policy, and all the problems of implementing, implementing projects. So we base a lot of the readings on uh, uh, results of World Bank or UNICEF or USAID or Asian Development Bank uh, projects. Uh, and so there's quite a few debates about those. And we have substantive debates about uh, the direction of foreign aid. Well, you know, should foreign, is foreign aid viable in the future? Um, and we've also, well, we also cover um, education issues uh, in wealthy industrial democracies. So we debate issues in Finland, about Finland or Korea. Um, and we also make very strong use of the um, first class uh, faculty uh, that surround us. I mean, we are the number one ranked graduate school in the United States. So my colleagues uh, who teach here, mostly about domestic issues, they're the best. And, the thing about our program, the, the international education program, is that they're not isolated. Uh, we demand, we insist, that they take methodology courses and that they take courses on debates of American school policy and expand that to issues and uh, areas outside the United States. So we make full use, fully integrated, with the faculty that we have in our department and in the Peabody more generally. <laughs> That's a good question. Uh, what kind of students thrive for the program? You know, what we do is we take people who have experience in education, usually at the classroom level, and we give them a lift up, all of them, uh, into policy, uh, into either commenting on policy, understanding how policy is formulated, understanding the dilemmas and trade-offs of policy um, issues uh, of all kinds. Uh, and so by the time they leave, they're ready for a much more senior, uh, to make a more senior contribution. 
they don't return to the classroom. They will return to uh, a central administration, a school administration, a state department of education, uh, a major foundation uh, or consultant firm that does work for foundations. Uh, we have one uh, graduate who is in charge at UNICEF of, of education in conflict areas, for example. So uh, they, they move up. And so that's, and essentially I think that's why they invest so heavily in our program, because they know that when they leave, uh, they will have opportunities they never dreamed of. Uh, we've had one graduate just last year um, who was an ex-Peace Corps volunteer from Eastern Europe, very comfortable like you, very, very uh, competent technologically. Uh, and he got a job as head of uh, international student services at Baylor. So all of a sudden he moves to Texas, he's at a major university, he's in charge of a huge program. Very happy, I might add. Uh, we have others working at Michigan State, and uh, we have three uh, students from last year um, went on for PhDs, and we I mean, they were very good. And their reason was that, this is so interesting, but I'm just, you know, a master's degree, I'm just scratching the surface here. I wanna go in, in more depth. So we helped them find position as PhD uh, candidates, one of whom stayed with us, but uh, others went to Wisconsin, University of Washington, uh, and other major places. As I mentioned, uh, International Student Services is a big, oh, we have at least three or four working in the World Bank, uh, some in the office in Washington, uh, two of them in Washington. We have uh, two or three in, re in um, country-specific offices, one in Georgia, uh, one in Moscow, and uh, I, I forget where else, Azerbaijan or, or Armenia, I guess it is. So, uh, and many in consultant firms, and they move up rather quickly. Their positions in consultant firms, they may start out as a junior analyst and they move up rapidly to uh, project uh, uh, coordinators and then project directors. Thank you.